In this video, we're going to talk about vector operations. For example, addition, subtraction, and scalar multiplication. These operations can be done both geometrically and algebraically, and both approaches are consistent with each other. Let's first look at the geometric approach. To add two geometric vectors that have the same initial point, for example, the two vectors here, vector AB and vector AD, we can apply the so-called parallelogram rule, which says if you let the two vectors form adjacent sides of a parallelogram, then the sum of these two vectors is the vector represented by the arrow from this common initial point A to the opposite vertex C of this parallelogram. So in this example, vector AB plus vector AD is equal to vector AC, where ABCD is a parallelogram. Now, if you look at parallelogram ABCD, you can notice that there are two pairs of equivalent vectors here. Vector AB is equivalent to vector DC because they have the same length and direction, and vector AD is equivalent to vector BC for the same reason. So if you replace vector AD with its equivalent vector BC in this equation, then this equation becomes vector AB plus vector BC is equal to vector AC. This equation describes an alternative rule of adding two geometric vectors that's called triangle rule. The triangle rule is useful when you have two vectors that are positioned so that the initial point of one vector is the terminal point of the other vector. And in this case, the sum of the two vectors is vector AC. You can remember it this way. If you walked from point A to point B, and then from point B to point C, then you effectively walked from point A to point C. Now, what if you have two geometric vectors whose initial points and terminal points don't coincide at all? In this case, you can just find equivalent vectors of one of these vectors, so then you can apply the parallelogram rule or the triangle rule. Now let's move on to talk about subtracting two vectors. First of all, we need to learn about the negative of a vector. The negative of a vector v is the vector that has the same length but the opposite direction of vector v. And the difference between two vectors, w and v, is the sum of the first vector and the negative of the second vector. So w minus v is equal to w plus negative v. So vector AB subtract vector AD is equal to vector AB plus negative of vector AD. Applying the parallelogram rule, find that AB minus AD is this vector AC. It is also true that the negative of vector AD is equivalent to vector DA. So applying the triangle rule, we know vector dA plus vector AB is equal to vector dB, which is this vector. You can see from the graph that this shape AD, BC is also a parallelogram, and therefore vector dB is equivalent to vector AC. So the difference of two vectors AB and AD sharing the same initial point A is the vector db that connects the two terminal points. Now let's move on to scalar multiples of a vector. Geometrically, multiplying a vector by a positive scalar c results in a vector whose length is c times the length of the original vector and has the same direction as the original vector. For example, 2v is the scalar multiple of the scalar 2 and the vector v is 2 times as long as vector v but has the same direction. And half of vector v, the scalar multiple of 1 half and vector v, is this vector that's half as long as vector v and has the same direction. In the meantime, multiplying the vector v by a scalar that's negative means multiplying the length by the absolute value of c and reverse the direction. For example, we have already learned that negative 1 multiplying v, which is the negative of v, is the vector that has the same length of v but of the opposite direction. So this is negative v. And negative 2 multiplying v would be the vector that's twice as long as vector v but is of the opposite direction of vector v. So this vector is negative 2v. 
Finally, multiplying a vector by the scalar 0 results in the 0 vector. 0 vector is a special vector. It has length 0 and it can be of any direction.